What's going on guys? So I just wanted to make a little video to sort of talk about things. So um, as you saw the last two videos, hopefully you saw those. If not, go check them out. Uh, we've got daily videos coming out. So yeah, I really want to get back into YouTube and now that I have access, uh, full access to the APUG account, should be easier. I already have a couple ideas, um, but this video isn't so much about videos or not. This is more or less about the server and the future. So a long time ago, I probably talked about what, you know, what updates we wanted to do. And people knew that Comp Cape was coming out soon. People knew that the, um, the, what's gonna call it? The, the uh, solo raids were gonna be worked on. So, you know, people had those, those things in their head. And, you know, people are now wondering where the hell those things are. Um, so, to give you a short answer, Comp Cape isn't where we want it at yet. Um, I don't know if this information is supposed to be a secret or if I can tell you, so I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> Hope that it's not supposed to be a secret. We are, uh, we have a guy who um, can like make models and whatnot. He's the same dude who made our invention cape, I believe, I believe. Um, he's making us uh, a comp cape and 500 mil capes. So, uh, yeah, and then and hopefully they won't look as weird as the invention cape is. I don't have any on invention yet, but um, the rotation model for like the, the items rotation is messed up. So it kind of looks stupid in your inventory. Uh, we're going to get those fixed. That's not that big of an issue, but yeah, the point is we will have a comp cape, an actual comp cape, and 500 mil capes coming out soon. I say soon because I, I honestly have no control over that. That's completely up. Like, that's on Dark's end and the dude who's making them's end. Um, uh, so comp cape is being waited on, and uh, if you're familiar with the server, you'll know that the achievements are kind of wonky. Uh, for example, it says I've only completed 44, but I've completed 45. Uh, or I have, you know, there's, there's 45 achievements, and if you go down, there's, you know, nothing highlighted. Um, there's a couple issues. I, I've tried to determine which one it is. The high, uh, it's not the high alk, it's the one that wants you to rune craft. One of these in here wants you to rune craft some nature runes. Yeah, that, that one, if I'm not mistaken, gets messed up. But that's not even the issue, because I've manually fixed it, and it still hasn't changed things. So, there's a couple issues um, in random places, so we're still trying to figure that out. I'd also like to add some elite uh, achievements before we add a comp cape. I want comp cape to be really hard. Like I, I want comp cape to be to the point where we have we have 6,600 character files and about I would say around two to three hundred unique players. I don't mean like at once. I just mean people who play the server once or you know once or twice a week or so. Um, it's in the morning now. We've got. 40 on right now. We normally float during like the, the, the prime times we float around the 50s, low 60s and then at night we float around the um, the high 20s, mid 30s, around there. So I, I, I'd like it to, to be at the point where like no one, no one can just get it right away. Like I know D has probably been one of the main people going for everything. I think he has all of the uh, the, um, the stuff we've mentioned before. This is this is what was originally mentioned, in, at least in terms of titles and whatnot. And if I'm not mistaken, he either has all of those or is very close. So, I, I'd like to make it so hard that not even he can just get it right away whenever it's released. You know, it should be the ultimate goal, the ultimate cape. Otherwise, what's the point, you know what I mean? Like, Because like a max cape is already a big accomplishment. If we're going to make just like another little accomplishment and then another accomplishment later on, it's just going to sort of take away from things. You know, I think if we have one big ultimate goal, and I have a couple ideas for many or like littler things, um, uh, basically, like, I, I don't want to talk about that idea too much because I, I, I haven't even like completely developed it. And I don't even know if it's going to work, so we'll just, we'll just skip that. But the point is, whenever Comp Cape does come out, I want to make sure it is the ultimate cape and it is the ultimate journey to go through it or to go for it. So. Uh, for now, that isn't, you know, that's, that's on the back burner. Uh, in terms of solo raids, the original way I was going to do it uh, was through the, uh, uh, you know, uh, if, you're, if you've played recently, you'll know that the, the Christmas event had a lot of issues. We're bugging out and whatnot. And um, that was essentially like the same sort of system I was going to use for solo raids. I was going to do, I was going to make four individual raids um, using the same files and then have a... Um, and then have like it, whenever you entered like the uh, raid, it would just randomize what you want those for. Because I thought that that would be a cool idea. You'd have four different raids. So, um, but after experiencing all the issues we had with the Christmas event, I don't necessarily want to do that anymore. I want to switch up my idea and try to find something more efficient. Because even though that might be cool and that might be better than what I end up doing, if it has issues, I don't think it's going to be worth it. I feel like. Um, 
the Christmas event was very lackluster in, in the fact that if you lagged out once during it, you lost all your progress, and that, that should not be the case. You know, obviously we, did, we didn't design it that way. That was just an unfortunate flaw that we were never able to fix. So that's the problem. That's why Solo Raids hasn't come out. Um, so we're probably going... I, I mentioned that I was going to release the new prayers with Solo Raids. I'm thinking about maybe releasing the new prayers by themselves soon, just because I don't know when Solo Raids is going to happen. And another reason for this is RuneScape Old School, which is what, you know, obviously the server's based around, has released a lot of good content lately. I don't know if you guys play Old School and play servers at the same time, or if you're familiar with it, but they've released a lot of new stuff. The Gargoyle Bosses, Rev Caves, all the new Dragon Slayer 2 stuff. So they've got a, quite a few things that we are uh, delayed on. So you saw in the, um, the video before last, that the Grotesque Guardian update has been released. So we're, we're, we're at that point in old school, you know. So we've still got Rev Caves, we've still got Dragon Slayer 2 and everything. So we have all the data and everything, we have all the stuff. We've just got to get together our own ideas. Because obviously I don't like to copy, um, you know, the content just straight up. I feel like in most cases, private servers are just so different, you can't do that. Uh, for example, this Gargoyle boss really isn't that helpful for this server. The boots weren't best in slot. Uh, the granite cannonballs, obviously we don't have a cannon or anything, so that doesn't help us. The tier 50 stuff is not, you know, that makes sense on a, on a game with, you know, 100,000 people in all different levels, but not in here where the majority of people are maxed out or near maxed. So we had to update the, co the content a little bit, and we'll continue to do that. With Rev Caves, I'm still iffy on what we're doing. John had a pretty good idea. And like not necessarily like new armor, but a way to upgrade your current armor. So, if you have any thoughts on what you guys want us to do, let us know. Um, in terms of Rev Caves, we have a couple like, a couple solo ideas, and then for the most part, we'll stick to to similar themes uh, with old school. So that's gonna be coming out soon. Um, I don't know. Again, I don't know. How, that's probably gonna be sooner rather than later. So you'll probably see that within the next week or so. Because I'd really like to get back to a normal, um, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to do daily videos for a while, as long as I can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really be proactive about it. Um, in terms of updates, I'd also like to up those again. Because when we were at our prime, when this server was at, you know, 100 plus and whatnot, we had updates coming out every, um, it seemed like every week or so. So, I, I definitely would like to keep that back up. And I've got a lot of ideas, so there's no real excuses. It's just a matter of not being lazy and whatnot. And uh, if you've seen the Dual Iron Man series, and you, you've seen me online, now that people know my name, they know that I've been playing the server a lot. That was one, I mean, that's one, it was, the good thing about it was that no one would harass me, <laughs> no one would bug me. And the bad thing about it was people would assume that I'm not online or that I'm, you know, I'm not doing anything. But I was around, so it's good that people know that now. But yeah, I've definitely been enjoying the game as a Dual Iron Man. Chad and I are doing uh, very well. So we'll, we'll be, we'll be uh, keeping with that. But the, the point is... Got my dog barking. What you want? What you said? What you said? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk to her in this, in this video. One of these. One of these days, I'll make like another. Like I'll just. I don't know. Like a live. Uh, I'll uh, sh do another like a uh, face st stream video. I've actually been thinking about streaming. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, I got a new computer, and I really think it can handle streaming a lot better than the last one. So I'm definitely gonna look into that because I think streaming could be cool. Uh, the only downside of streaming is obviously if the current video isn't up, spoilers, but it's whatever. So, yeah, so there's that. In terms of the next update, now I don't know if this is going to include Rev Caves. It's probably going to include Rev Caves because Rev Caves is pretty much the, all the items and NPCs are already there. It's just a matter of putting it all together and making it all work. And that shouldn't be that long. It should, it should, be, it should be pretty enjoyable. So I, I'm definitely saying that could be in our next update. Uh, here's some of the other ideas I have uh, right around now. So, uh, these are just kind of notes I've been uh, collecting along the ways of playing. Uh, if you see right here, we have some nice scaling updates. So, I've, uh, I've got a couple things in the works. Now, not all of these are necessarily going to be in the next update. These are just things I like, and if, if I like them more, they'll be in that update. And if I like them less, they'll be in you know another update later on. But, if you want to pause and read through what I've gotten written here, you can do so. But uh, yeah, I know that uh, people, you know, people suggest things all the time, and they just assume I'm not listening. 
I'm aware. I'm aware people want some, some better skilling content, so I've got a couple ideas. The main thing I want to do is add some superior skilling methods, like so some skilling methods where you, you have to go for a little bit more effort, but it's way more rewarding in terms of experience, and it's way more rewarding in terms of the uh, cash you make. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that. If you have any thoughts, any suggestions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Apologize for this video not being super interesting, but I should have something cool out tomorrow, so uh, stay tuned for that.